Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Bigfoot. So I guess we're gonna go hunt Bigfoot. So this isn't my first rodeo with the big guy. I've actually played this a little bit. The, the first map a little bit now. And so I'm going in surprisingly with a little bit of experience with this. We're just gonna do me versus AI for now. I don't have any friends to invite at the moment and we're gonna do Yellowstone Park. There is three. There's the Winter Park as well, and this one, Redwood Park. Haven't tried Redwood yet, tried a little bit of the Winter one, and uh, played this one a few times. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you how, guys, to kind of kind of tackle this one right. I need a name, so I'm just going to, I don't know, just anything's fine. And that way we can create it. We get to the next menu here. So you have a set of difficulties that you can change up and down. One's easiest, I think three. Yeah, three's hardest. We're just going to keep it in the middle. Each character that you can select from here, there's three, four. Oh, and somebody can play as Bigfoot, by the way. Um, <clears throat> have different stats. Like, he gets more firearm and melee damage. Uh, she's a little faster and with healing, vitality, explosive damage. Ooh. Hmm. And then reload speed and blind duration, 15%. So, I don't know. It doesn't really matter because, really, honestly, if you were to go... My suggestion would be Thomas for... 5%, it's 5% more. Well, that's not too much, but all the same. Um, explosive is the name of the game in this. Like, your guns are going to do a itty-bitty bit of damage. It takes a lot of sessions with Bigfoot, and uh, Bigfoot hurts, so going to have to have enough health for that. So. so I'm not going in blind here, guys. I have played this just a little bit. You've probably played the map like five, six times, but I have caught on to a certain pattern, at least in, in single player or player versus AI, where it's just, just me. So you want to go around and search your campgrounds and stuff, play guitar if you like. Night will come very quick, the first night. He doesn't generally attack at the first night has been my experience so I usually just travel through that one maybe bad to do that let's just go ahead close that door there shall we and we're just gonna, gonna look around for everything read a little bit of this so we have a camera now and that's the only way I know how to zoom your rallies behind Mer Merkel and then uh, two rulings, legacy, nation, national park is closed due to numerous accidents. All right, we've got more stuff. We can search. So we want the meat. Meats, not necessarily too important. But it, uh, you can set it on the tracks if you want that. That little piece right there is very important. The flare gun's going to help you a lot in this game because Mr. Bigfoot, or Mrs., what have you, does not like fire. So that's how you're going to kind of buffer yourself with him. Okay, is it night yet? This is the way I check. I just hold Q. I'm on PC, by the way, guys. Night number one, and it's 7.20. It's getting there. I think it is night, actually. So, I mean, potentially. He could attack me soon. He has a reach, by the way. Okay, so... These are the two missing persons we're looking for. If, uh, let's see. If I hold Q and I go to, I think, the journal. Yes, so we have some tasks. Explore the map. Take a photo of... Bigfoot footprints, three of them. Get a photo of Bigfoot scratches on trees, three of them we need to get. Find dead tourists. T 
take photos of the corpse investigation too. There's two of them out there. Take a photo of Bigfoot. So, and then we have some secondaries here. Thought I heard. Thought I heard him snaking around. He, he, can, he can be a little sneaky. So, I suppose we'll take just everything. I mean, why not? Why not, right? Like, might as well, if we have a chance to use half of it, consider ourselves lucky. Just kind of taking my time with the first cabin here and making sure I get... Well, it's our RV, actually. Alright, um, well, it's dark. I got everything, right? Pretty sure I got everything. Alright, let's load all the guns up. And go. Then the flare gun, like I'm telling... This is a handy little device. Don't use it unless you're ready to try to run or what have you, though. It will stun him for a minute. So, we've got those three. What else do we have? We have two med packs, a knife, and a sig signal flare, which you can wave around at him. There's a GPS tracker. You can stick him with that, and it'll, it'll track him for a little while. We can set some cameras up and use our tablet to uh, view those cameras. Okay, so map. So uh, I guess you can't zoom in. I don't know if you can. I haven't figured out how. It's not the mouse wheel, so I don't know. But I guess we'll cover this. Uh, eh, let's cover this side first. We're going to head to the main road and then take the first... Take a left on that, and then a right is what it looks like. And what time is it? It's it's only night time. All right. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna roll around with the flare gun. Actually, do do I have any traps? I have two. If I get lucky enough to throw one down before he get me, before he gets me. All right. So there's there's traps in the trees. Some of the trees too, guys could be on the main road, it could be on some of these back roads, but they will sling you up in the air and hurt you a little bit. Good. And uh, there's a quick time event to where... Okay, I don't hear him yet. Just gonna... Is this the way I need to... Did I miss my turn? Wait. I missed my bloody turn, didn't I? It's somewhere over this way, though, so we'll just we'll just cut to it, I guess. Through the woods. Generally, do this, but we are this time. Okay, um, I'm back on the road. Where's the turn at? He's gonna get me. I need to turn. I didn't make it to it yet. I don't think. Please don't get me. All right, so that's the camper. Keep going. I swear, I swear, I played this. All right, so it looks like we're going to the back side. Darn it! All right, well, yikes! Out of stam. What? No. This tree gonna get me now? Okay. All right, we're just gonna keep going. We have a location over here, though. I, I suppose we can explore those options. Wow, what do we got? Biscuit basin. All right. Well, JPS. I swear, if I hear him out here in the open, I'm so vulnerable right now. bad <laughs> okay that's that's all that's oh, what what okay that was my own footsteps yes we do, do we have night vision yeah we got a night vision camera kind of uh, scout him like I said he doesn't generally come at you on the first night oh jeez uh, that's a dog 
want to have to kill you, bud, but you attacked me first. And I suppose since you're dead, I'll take your meat. I don't really shoot the animals in this game. Uh, most of them aren't aggressive, except for the wolves. Alright, so... I just won't hump me a big food. That's all. Keep going. We we had to shoot our gun, so that's bad. Okay, daylight. Not not yet. Got a few hours still. Oh no! Don't do that. I, I don't even know. I still don't know what that is. Like, is it him messing with us? Like out in the woods? I don't know. Can we find a trail? Possibly. I. Oh wait, if I go back this way, should be a trail breaking off here. Oh, here we go. Got a sign, okay. So, Ranger Patrol Station, alright. Let's do that. Hi. So this is more for the multiplayer. You can pick them up and one of, with one of your allies goes down, one of your friends go down, you can resurrect them at the Stonehenge location, I guess I've been told. The Stonehenge location, I've never had to do that yet. But, uh, yeah. Okay, I should probably go inside. Thanks. All right. Morning will come soon. We'll see how that works out. Trap, yes, thank you. Traps are our friends. They, they really do help a lot. Anything that slows him down for a minute helps a great deal. So, like I said, bullets, you can shoot at him if you want. I mean, of course you have to. But uh, it just angers him more than anything. Oh. Well, same one I have. That's okay. Neato, though. It's hanging up there. Some things are randomly generated, I guess. Alright, so... Morning? I think almost morning. We're gonna explore the grounds around here, then. Oh, hi, Mr. Raccoon. He... Oh, what? Hey. You know, I wasn't gonna shoot you. You don't have to bark at me. Okay, anything back here? You know? Oh, scared myself with the bushes. Uh, doesn't appear so. We, we've got the main road again. If we go this way, though. Back to the lodge. I just run freely. I, I don't care about the the tree traps. I don't know. Uh, they're, they're more annoying than anything, but so far we haven't ran across any yet. Alright, I guess I can tune my lights off because... Alright, which way do we want to go? We need to go... I suppose... Nope. Need to go this way. So we're gonna do that. Traps in the trees? Anywhere? Who knows? Alright, a uh, campground, a watchtower, a fire watchtower, both this way. Well, don't mind if I do. Alright. Oh, I see it. Okay. Oh. And there's a zip line, guys, and this zip line. The zip line is your best friend. More so than this flare gun is. Alright, well, let's get up there. And then where was the, uh. Okay, so the campground's that way. Ranger station's that way. Good, good, good stuff. I think that was a fox. So we're going to go up here to this fire watchtower and see what goodies we can find here. 
And we may uh, have our first battle with him tonight here because I'll show you guys a little trick. Oh, I see there's something to... Oh. Yep, I'm just going to close that again. I don't mind. Uh, anything around the vehicle? I never found anything. Nothing around all of that. Okay. Let's go up to the fire watch tower then. What time is it? Almost noon. Let's see what we can find up here. I, he doesn't attack during the daytime, so I daytime's good. I didn't mention that before. He generally does not. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Yes. Actually, I'll, I'll take that. A shout gun. Got ourselves a shout gun. Shotgun. Good. So it's Yellowstone, so you know. It does that. Oh my. I wonder if I was outside if I could see the eruption of the, uh, the hot spring. Oh, med pack, thank you. Yes, please, thank you. We'll, we'll take all the med packs we can get. You're a jerk. You're a jerk, phone. Yeah. We're doing that. Hopefully that doesn't wake him out of his day slumber, because I think he's more of a nocturnal guy, big Mr. Bigfoot he use. So, should be good. All right, so the zipline, these are great guys. So what you do is, you know, you set a trap up, right? Right, that he's definitely gonna step on nine out of 10 times, he's gonna step on that. He does grace himself around it sometimes. It's quite annoying. And uh, you're gonna wait for him to get trapped and then you're just gonna pop him with whatever you've got. You know, whether you've got, say, some explosives or something. You know, you can hit him with that, like, you know, if I can just not set my own trap off, that'd be great. Like, you could set him down right here, hit him with this, it's close enough to hurt him a good bit. Pop a few shots in him, and then you can take this zip line, guys, way over here, and this escapes his attack. So, you can just keep basically kiting him back and forth and setting traps up and getting some hits in, some free hits, and then just jump back on your zip line. Because it's going to take quite a few sessions with you, with him, to deplete all of his health. You'll see what I'm talking about soon enough. There's no Bigfoot health bar up top yet. But as soon as he shows up to attack us tonight, which is approaching very quickly, um, we're going to <clears throat> chew on him little by little. So, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna set a camera. I'm gonna set a camera right there. That noise we're hearing right now is an aeroplane. It is actually an airplane. I don't know why they fly over. Because I've never seen them drop anything. But there is one somewhere flying around now. Oh, there it is. I've never seen them drop anything, so I don't think it's a, uh, an airdrop like in other shooters. I think it's just an airplane. I don't know. Hey, either way, it's nighttime now. And there's our camera, our one camera we've got set up, but um, let's. We're gonna get these fireworks going right there. We're also going to set a trap right there. All you have to do is approach the trap, hold E, you can set meat in there. And now we wait. And I'm, I, I'm fine. I'll turn my flashlight on and everything. You can't see him coming from here, but 
we can watch our camera though. So, and we can also you can also move your camera around. You can move your cameras around. So, pretty neato. All right, we're just gonna pitch this right here and watch him. Like, let's see if I. We'll escape. Like, is there a quicker way to? Oh, well, that pulls the camera up. I don't want to. Um, hello. Wonder if there's a quicker way to reference your camera, though. And look, you can have so many different cameras. One through six is right there, so up to six, I guess. And a drone. We do have a drone. Not gonna break it out. I'll break the drone out in the daytime if we make it to the next morning. That is, but uh, yeah. Okay, escape that. All right. Well, I kind of want to get the party started with him. So I'm just gonna pop a few off in hopes that that prompts him to. Uh, show up big food where are you give me a growl or something he's sneaky man he really is like can I zoom in and out no oh wow I can switch though All right. still nothing why nothing where are you where am I on the map I mean I am way over here Am I facing that away? Ah, yes. There we go. We have angered the creature. <laughs> Alright, and I'm going to show you what the zip line's good for, guys, here in just a second. Mr. Bigfoot? <laughs> Sir? I know you may have to trek from a good bit. That didn't too sound too far away though, your your roar. So if you could uh Oh boy! Oh boy, he's here. And there we go with that. Okay, so it stuns him for a second, and then you can get some shots in, and it's up to you how much you want to push your luck with it, but then glide over here. He's got to travel all the way around now. So, oh god. So that's bad for him because it's going to take him a minute to get over this way. Now we're hoping he hits that trap. Oh boy, here he comes. Uh-huh. Where? Yup, come on. Uh-huh. What are you doing? Come. Bro, I'm right over here. There you go. Yeah, hi. Yeah, that's a trap. Yeah. Yeah, I. Okay. Alright, so you can only do the zip lines, unfortunately, a couple of times. And then the wire breaks. Alright, so we want to reset this now. And this is just how you kind of kite it put back and forth. And as you can see, we've already tore into him pretty good with this little, just this one little. Oh, here he comes. One little session. I'm expecting to fall. Are you gonna, are you gonna, are you gonna hit that trap? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Hey, guess what else I have for you? I have a shotgun for you. Okay. It should break this time. Oh my god, you're gonna let me make it all the way over? Well, thank you very much, because we'll take this now. We're gonna reset that right there, and uh, we're gonna break the shit. You know what? Could, I should hit him with a flare once, maybe actually too, and then I'll hit him with the shotgun. Shotgun reloaded though. Let's. Oh, maybe just shotgun time. No, Let's hit him with a flare. Yeah, I. That, I know, right? I'm a jerk. I know, right? Oh, you're mad. I can understand that. I really can. It should break on me. Wow, it didn't break on me. Okay. Wow, it's given me a lot of... Usually it's like two or three times and then the rope breaks and you have to go find another zip line. Alright. Um, 
This is going really well. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh-huh. Uh, you are bad at me. You are really, really bad at me. I have got a lot of hit that. Okay. Did we fall? Oh my god. Okay. Yep. No. Uh, okay, there was no line there anymore. He is upset. He is just really... really upset. <laughs> where are you going? Well, where are you going though? Hey. Hey, hello. Oh, you're just gonna stay are you just gonna stay right there? Because Because I will I will shoot you again. Alright, we tore into him good guys. Like like really good. I he ran off that way. I'm not gonna try to chase him down. He's much faster than I am. Ha 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 Bigfoot. <laughs> it's almost morning. I'm basically celebrating the victory of the first night because, like I said, we just hurt him a lot. So he's. Mm hmm. So he's pretty mad about that, but hurt more or less. So he's probably going to bugger off for the night. So what we'll do is we'll go in here for the moment. We'll set a trap down just in case he wants to say hello again. And why not, right? Like, encourage him to come in, I suppose. Did search everything. So, are you gonna? Are you gonna come? No, it's my own footsteps. Okay, I'm just freaking myself out. All right. Well, regardless, I think we're good for the first night, guys. Like, morning is two minutes away, basically. He won't come out during the daytime. What he's going to do now and what he actually is doing is he's healing a little bit. So, the gray part of the bar that is black at the end there the black part is permanently what he lost in health the gray part is potentially what he can heal himself back up to and meaning we'll probably be at like the five six hundred range in health by morning when he finally does heal all the way it might might take him a minute the shotgun was definitely give him the for what for for sure but nonetheless, we're gonna. Is that me? Are you gonna come again? I don't think so. It's almost morning. All right. With that being said, guys, we're gonna end this first part right here. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Definitely, will be more to come soon. Um, bear with me with it with my schedule. It's kind of difficult, but I'll definitely pump them out as quick as I can. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And until next time. We'll see you later.